I'm in the fixed assets module here. Let's have a look at the concept of creating a fixed asset from a purchase order. So from procurement, the asset can be created automatically. So there are a couple of parameters that you might want to use to control this. So if I go to the fixed assets parameters, you'll see the purchase order parameters here. For example, it said allow asset acquisition from purchasing. So you want to consider that. And then whether the asset is, is created at the receipt and invoice posting time. So these are a couple of parameters that you might need to consider as well. For example, which users could do this. So once those are set up, I can go into the procurement module and I'm going to go into purchase orders and we're going to go and um, put in a purchase order. So I'll pick a supplier. It doesn't really matter from a supplier perspective where you get the asset from. And now in this case, I'm putting a site in a warehouse, but you could use that for just address information for where the asset's being received into if you're purchasing it. Now in this case I'm not using an item number, I'm just going to use a procurement category. And if I have a look, I've got a category which is cars, for example. So I can specify that. And what I want to do is put in the information. So I'm buying one of these well, let's say one of these, it's an each, and the unit price is 20,000, for example. Now, this category is set up for tax, a tax will calculate as well on top of this particular one. So, if we have a look, we get a fixed asset um, tab here, and I can put some um, details, for example, to follow about the uh, assets. So obviously I can do some of those sort of things on the on the purchase order line. But the main thing is the fixed asset. So here I can specify that this is a new asset. So I can mark this and then it'll prompt me for the fixed asset group because when the asset's created it's going to use the group to put default their parameters like the value models and the depreciation books for that group of assets. So at this stage I can confirm the purchase. Nothing would have happened from a fixed asset perspective but now what I'm going to do is go on receipt and so I can put in receipt details and then we'll say OK. So at this stage you'll see that the asset number is created. So if we navigate across to the asset you'll see that the asset, um, the details that I put on the text for example come across there and if I have a look at the value models you'll see that this is not acquired yet so it's in the system but we haven't actually acquired it so let's have a look if I'm back on the purchase order I'm going to invoice the purchase order so we'll invoice and we can put in uh, details and again you'll see the unit price um, but there will be tax on this particular one for example so if I uh, post now what I'll see is the assets if I navigate across now what I'll see in the value model is the it is now set to open so we've actually done an acquisition if I look at the transactions you'll see that we've got an amount here of 23750 so if I look at the voucher um, I've got some tax also included in there so in any case that's the um, the value of the asset brought on. So that's a quick walkthrough of how I can bring on an asset and acquire it through the purchase order. Now obviously in in different environments um, not everyone is going to be able to do that process because um, you might want to review the asset and review the value before it's actually acquired on in the system. So I've obviously walked through it in one go so you can see kind of the correlation of purchase to fixed asset um, but you want to review those processes for your own internal procedures of how you manage the asset.